man accused of killing a high school student during an Easter night concert is on trial this week. Testimony began today in Jamarcus Holyfield's murder trial. He's accused of killing 15, 15 year old Anissa Baker back in 2018. Today, Baker's mother took the stand. WKRG News 5's Dana Winter was the only reporter in the courtroom. Jamarcus Holyfield sits in court. It's nearly four years after the shooting at the Grand Hall on Easter Sunday 2018 that ultimately killed 15-year-old Anissa Baker. This trial, not easy for Anissa's family, also sitting in the courtroom. This is my first time actually seeing him. Um, I have seen him on the internet. I'm still a little confused on what's going on at the moment because I'm still in disbelief that she's not here with us and we have to go through this process. Asriel Baker says he came for this trial for his family in Georgia, saying reopening the wounds would be too much. And it still kind of somewhat hurts, you know, just talking about it. I'm still gathering myself. The pandemic gave time for us to really heal a little. The state called six witnesses, including Anissa's mom, Mobile police officers, and a man named Juan Darius Jones. They brought in a witness that, that just supposedly you know, had evidence that Mr. Holyfield had confided in him. In court, Jones claimed Holyfield told him he killed a girl when he came over to his house to buy drugs, and Jones later discovered that girl was Anissa Baker. A lot of times, the you know witnesses like that don't want to admit what you know what their past is and stuff like that. Beyond the witnesses, we saw pictures from the investigation. Investigation. The defense even asking officers to examine shell casings from that night. There's just so much evidence from a from a collection standpoint that that, that we that both sides have to get in admitted and uh, so hopefully it's actually moving a little faster than we thought. Darley expects this trial to wrap up by the end of the week. Reporting in Mobile, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.